Hello everyone, Dr. Bang here today, and if you guys hate my career as much as I do, you've come to the right place. We're doing warehouse challenges today now. I think this is the fastest and easiest way to get badge points and progression in 2K without having to play those terrible, boring games. Now, let's get into it. So you hit pause, you go to the city, you go to 2K Journal, they're gonna show you eight AIs that have three games each, and, and for a total of 24, if you beat all these challenges, not only do you get a nice little hat, you also get a ton of badge points and progression for doing this. So you're probably thinking, how the hell am I gonna find these people if they're walking around randomly? I got you guys. So here's a walkway of all the AIs that are walking around the map. For example, we're gonna do Ava. She's the pink border. She's walking around the beasts and the North Side Knights. If you see that they have a yellow exclamation point above their head, that's the warehouse challenge. So you're gonna hit A on them. They're gonna give you a description of who you're playing and you know where it's at. You're gonna hit back on the mini map. You're gonna, it's gonna be highlighted in that yellow waypoint. So you're gonna tag it and then you're gonna go. Now some people might not be aware that you can get free rewards every single day you play this game. You just go here on the mini map and you go up to the statue of your affiliation and you hit A and you could get, you know, VC boosts, uh, items from swags or something. You might as well do it. I mean, it's free and it's very convenient. So as you're running around the city, just do that. Anyway, when you get there, you hit A on the warehouse place and it loads you right into the game. You're usually playing, you know, good, like, historic players or, you know, current day players, and there's usually, like, a theme to it, but we just want to get the badge points and the progression. I don't care about who we're playing, you know, where we're playing. Let's just do it. All right, so my first tip is know what you're going for. I'm mainly going for shooting badges when I do this because they're the hardest to get. So basically, I just go back and forth and spam with screens so you can get open right here, get enough room, and pop it. That's honestly one of the easiest ways to do it. Once again, here we go. Screen, hit, hit, step back, shoot. Very simple, very repetitive, but it gets the job done, and that's why we're here. That's why we're playing the game. My tip on defense is to allow big guys that can't shoot to shoot because sometimes they will from, like, three-point when you know they won't make it. So just do that, and this game mode is incredible for defensive badges, let me tell you, you because you get so many shot contests and rebounds, it's just... It's great. I didn't get that many rebounds in this game, but still worked out. Now, you also want to, you know, if you want to do driving badges or playmaking, play that way. Like, get a lot of assists, get a lot of dunks, you know. Sometimes I'll just, you know, I'm not always shooting threes if it's open. Like, right here, do the behind the back, get a nice contact dunk on his head. I mean, it's there sometimes, so take it if you want. But if you only want to shoot, then I would do that too. See, once again, screen, back up, shoot very repetitive very simple i do advise you guys to put on uh probably limitless if you can and also or whatever it's called deep threes and also hot zone hunter that'll be extremely effective catch and shoots not that effective because you're not really at least for me i'm not really catching and shooting i'm more just dribbling the ball and then going behind the screen but if you have the badges you know you might as well put them on right here i do a catch and shoot because i got takeover but yeah, it's that simple, guys. I mean, it's an effective method, and it works very well. Look at that, 72%. As long as you're efficient, you'll get good points. If you shoot bad shots and shoot under 30%, you won't get that many points. But look at this. We got 17,000 my points from that, a ton of shooting, 6,000 shooting points, and 5,700 defensive badge points. Now, that is... That's better than my career, in my opinion. Once you beat a challenge, you can go back to that same person and get another challenge until you complete all their challenges, or you can activate all eight of the AIs at the same time, whatever you want. When you're all done, it's gonna look like this, all games completed, and you get a nice little hat to go along with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.